The photopolymer process is a fairly straightforward process. Um, we're using a photosensitive material. And one of the unique things about the photosensitive material is the quality. Um, if you look at other competitive processes, you can do a lot of the same things, but the look and the feel is not the same. A photopolymer process, being photosensitive, we get really nice, crisp characters that are very, very clean, which match the use for high-end commercial interiors. When you look at hospitality or healthcare, you're in high-end environments um, that have really nice interiors or tremendous amount of people. So you need to do two things. You need to be able to navigate people to the correct place, and you want it to look nice. You know, the last thing you want to do is develop a beautiful interior where you're spending a couple hundred million dollars and to have these regulatory signs on the wall that really do not look nice. So the photopolymer process, aside from being very productive and very cost efficient to make, that has the quality and the look and the feel that these high-end interiors want. So the photopolymer process is really grown to prominence over the last 10 plus years. Since the inception of the ADA laws in 1991, the sign industry has really looked to find a dominant material to control this marketplace. Photopolymer really fit perfectly into this, um, as every public facility really needed to be equipped with braille signs, it was a huge undertaking. Obviously there were some buildings that were grandfathered in, so the process took many, many years. And one of the really nice things about photopolymer, specifically if you're a sign fabricator, is you're looking for a process that you can really put into your workflow. Something you can repeat, something you can have a high quality, and most importantly, be able to turn a profit doing. And photopolymer really fits into that scenario. The reality is you can produce 500 plus photopolymer signs in the course of a day. So when you're looking at large scale projects, you can really be able to fit that into your current workflow, turn cycles, and ultimately turn a profit. 